everybody, it's Jo and welcome back. Today's topic will apply to amputees and non-amputees. This is a mental issue that I've been dealing with before and after amputation and I wanted to talk about it today with you. I don't know if you've ever heard yourself make the mental comparison of, oh, what I'm going through isn't that bad because so-and-so is going through something so much worse, but I want to talk about that and how sometimes it has a negative impact. Before I talk about that, make sure you hit subscribe. I think the button's right there. Maybe right there, maybe right there, I don't know. But I release videos about how uh, life is without a foot. I'm new to this experience and I wanted to share it with you guys. Diving in, before I had my leg amputated, I thought it was a really big deal. Before it was even in the picture, I thought of amputees as like, oh my God, those are some of the strongest people in the world. They must be dealing with so much. You know, just the simple fact of missing an appendage of your body is like one of the worst things that could ever happen to a person. That was like the mindset that I had. And then, after I had my amputation, I joined forums and Facebook groups for amputees and I suddenly saw all these people who had no arms and one leg or no arms and no legs or had a dual below the knee amputation and I'm sitting here with just a below the knee amputation trying to process it and like asking questions and then shutting up because I felt horrible for having a hard time or horrible for like being in pain when they must be in so much more pain and so I just shouldn't say anything and I don't know if you've ever felt that way about anything in life. Before I go any further, I think it is really, really important to be incredibly grateful. Like if you see a situation and you're like, wow, that person has it really hard, to stop and be really thankful for the things in your life and be really grateful for what you have and what you don't have to struggle with. However, I do think it is also a mental tactic for avoiding actually dealing with the things we need to. And so I have found myself doing that. I have found myself looking at other amputees and being like, oh, they have it so much worse, and then just cutting myself off from asking for help or from looking for things that I really need. And I need to stop that because if I want to get through this in a healthy way, if I wanna process any emotions that I'm having in a healthy context, I need to find people to talk to. I need to ask the questions. And I need to not stop myself just because I feel like someone else has it worse. Because if we're honest, someone else is always going to have it worse. And that can't stop us all from dealing with what we need to deal with. I mean, there's one person on planet Earth who has the absolute worst situation and no one is ever going to trump that person, but I'm not that person. And so I am working on allowing myself to ask for help and feel the emotions I need to feel. And I wanted to share that with you guys today because I feel like it's a pretty universal thing that most of us deal with. Let me know in the comment section below if this is something that you find yourself doing as well. I don't think I'm alone in this, but hey, I've been wrong before. Thanks so much for watching guys. I am Joe, and I really look forward to seeing you in the next video.